August 23rd, 2021. This one I got a call from a lady, and she says uh, when she runs her AC for a while during the day on the hot days, it leaks through the ceiling. And supposedly someone went over there and uh, they addressed the trap issue or whatever. And uh, somebody said that the unit's sweating up in the attic and dripping down through the ceiling needs to be covered. Supposedly um, the unit and the is only like four or five years old up in the attic and there's a new unit outside supposedly so I don't know it sounds like she's got ongoing issues going on over here so we're gonna go by there and see what she's talking about see if we can help the lady out there's a new restaurant over here right on the water that just opened up supposedly Crisco. I'm going to try that out someday. You love going out to eat, Miss Molly. Yeah, I know you love going out to eat. Yeah, you love going out to eat, Miss Molly. And see what this lady's talking about. There should be a secondary pan to catch the water if it drips down through, right? I don't know. Let's go look. See what the hell's going on here with this thing. Turn left on David Street. Maybe run the charge. She said she's running cheap filters. Check the charge. Run it. Check the charge. See what the hell's going on here with this thing. You can't be leaking water through the ceiling, Mama. Turn right on Frog Avenue. Sometimes these type of jobs, you don't even want to get involved with them. The flipping shit show. Somebody did a shit install and they want you to go fix the flipping thing, right? I don't know. Sometimes you get involved in someone else's flipping shit show mess. And your name's on it. Never a dull moment. It strips, it strips like right in the middle there and then so it's now, the I don't whole, know, these it's spots here are new these three spots over here so that, like, that's where the unit is basically right is I what you're saying yeah okay you said the filters okay yeah the filters no yeah so that's no all right put it in this
look, see that water? Yeah. That's more than the trap. See it? Uh-huh. I'm not saying that's your issue, but the pan is smaller than the unit upstairs, which is a no-no. I mean, why don't you call that guy back? He, put, he, he charged you to put that unit in there, didn't you? Yep. I mean, as far as the duck sweating, I don't think that's going to flood your house like that. This is a potential issue that this trap was blocked so that the condensate wasn't draining out all the way. But you have to get a, uh, uh, a pan under that secondary pan to cover the whole unit, and it's too small. The pan under the unit is too small. By four inches on each side. Okay. Look at it flowing now. What was it doing before? Just dripping, right? Yep. It might have had some slime in there and backing up. Let me check the charge. All flipping wet, but it's icing up. Oh, it looks awful slimy to me. Look at all this shit. Let's check the charge. This thing's really draining now, good. Pan upstairs is too small for the unit. Leaking all over a ceiling. Wow, it's way overcharged. It's overcharged here. Eight degrees. Let me take a little bit out. We've got too much in there. Tap into the high side. We'll blow some out into the tank. So on the high side. We're gonna go right into this tank with it. Recovery tank. A little bit of how you doing. We want to bring that super heat up. And that sub cooling down. Overcharged. And the 36 upstairs. This thing's brand new. Just put in four. Yeah, this thing's brand new. Take some more out. We'll give it a little time to stabilize. Taking some more out. Goodman unit. 
it's a 16. Not that old. Alright, we're looking better here with our sub cooling at 10. And our superheat at 14. That's a lot better. We're overcharged. Super, yeah, our sub cooling was what? 25 or 4? It's 410A. unit upstairs is like eight inches bigger than the pan, four inches on each side, hanging over the pan, so that's not good. If I change the unit upstairs, you never change the pan. Fucking dummy. Okay, we're gonna have a TXV. See how that's regulating? That's much better now. There, see that? That's better. This thing's really draining. She's really, she's really leaking. She's a leaker. Oh man, she's a leaker, Mama. She's a leaker. Yeah, we'll leave it right there. That's better. He really wants to know why I'm talking to myself. It's gotta have a TXB. See how it's regulating? Hunting. That's better. We'll leave it right there. We'll leave it right there. It's a brand new unit for 2021. He says it was the outside unit. He just changed the outside unit, overcharged it. Get a nice stream coming out of there now. That should be fine. Yeehaw! Alright guys, I just left that job. I didn't get you no know, shots of that uh, unit up on the second floor, but we had an air handler up on the second floor, which is a 14 Goodman, which is seven years old. And uh, they left the old pan that was there. It looked like an old pan that maybe a red was sitting in at one time. And it was four inches hanging off each end of the, the unit. I mean, you gotta put a bigger secondary pan up there. Corn on St. Lion did have slime in it. Once I vacuumed that out, I had a steady stream coming out. So I think that's what was happening. The condensate was backing up, draining slowly, enough to keep it up when it wasn't that hot. But when it got really hot and the unit started running, I mean, the condensate would back up and it couldn't take it. And obviously, the secondary pan is going to be addressed. So I'm going to give her a price on changing the secondary pan. And, uh,. The other guy wants to put another unit up in the attic. It's like, you don't need another unit. It's only seven years old. Got a brand new unit outside that was overcharged. That was overcharged. So I took some Freon out. Took some refrigerant out of there and reset the charge and uh, vacuumed out the condensate line. And uh, she should be able to run it for now, but she's still got an issue with that secondary pan really hard to get up there. It's tight, tight, tight up there. So that's why I really didn't get, I should have got some footage of that. I took a picture of the, um, the tag on the air handler. Like I said, it, it's it's short by eight inches. Can't have that shit. The guy who replaced the unit should have seen the pan and should have upgraded the pan, but he was too fucking lazy. The guy was too flippin' lazy to go run out and get another pan for it. 
And he's over there. He's over there telling the lady she needs a new system up there. Yeah, he just put a system in uh, seven years ago. Call him back to put the right pan in there. That's a bitch of a job. I'm gonna, I'll do it, but I'm not going to do it for, for cheap, I'll tell you. going to be up there. Jack, gonna jack up the unit, put unit strut on it, and then get the other pan underneath of it. Not gonna be cheap, Mama. Oh man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be next level. It's gonna be next level, Miss Molly. Oh yeah, it is. Turn right on Allen Street. I hate to get involved with someone else's shit show. I did have the proper trap on, on the unit. And, Everything was plugged off. I would have put a T after the trap for a vent. They didn't have that. That would have that would have helped. Turn left on Street. And they should have had a uh, they should have had an overflow switch on that um, that also to shut the unit off. That's what they should have did. But anyway, that's the deal with that one. We'll get a little video together for you and show you what's going on with that. That's a little frog. Hanging out on a suction line. Look at that shit. That is cool. Cooling off. A little flipping frog cooling off on a suction line. That is fucking cool, man. That is cool. Yeehaw.